Congratulations on the victory. Um, just how pleased were you with the discipline your team showed today? Yeah, I'm very happy because to have that discipline, you need more than discipline. You need also a big desire to do it. You need also a big solidarity. Uh, that discipline is not just about a plan. It's about also an emergency plan, which is when somebody makes a mistake or when somebody is not in the position where it should be in a certain moment of the game, you have to compensate and you have to, to cover for it. So that discipline demanded a big effort and the guys, they were... They were fantastic. I'm I'm super happy, super proud of them. Uh, a proper team performance with every individual uh, giving everything. I'm I'm very very happy. Okay, let's go to Ben Ransom from Sky. I'm just unmuting you now. Thank you, um, Jose. 35 seconds after you introduced Giovanni Lo Celso, he scored. Does the player or the manager take credit for that one? That's lucky. Uh, Credit for the player because he was, he was cool. He was technically perfect. He chipped it and uh, amazing. But credit for the coach, nothing, uh, because he's just lucky. Um, he went to do exactly what Tangi was uh, was doing. Fresh, uh, Tangi was tired. Tangi did a fantastic work for the team too, and we needed a fresh player in this moment that could do what he did in terms of uh, having the legs to stretch the game, having the legs to, to, to get behind defenders, having the legs to try to try to hurt. Score is luck. Okay. Let's go, Dan King. Just unmuting you. Dan. Hi, Jose. Hello. You just unmuted. You just muted yourself again, Dan. Can you unmute, please? Jose, okay. you're, you're, you're back top of the league for the first time yourself in more than two years. First time Spurs have been top of the league in a day for more than six years. How excited are you and how excited should Spurs fans be about what might be possible this season? I prefer to be top of the league than to be second, third or fourth. But it's not a, an obsession. It's not a problem for me. If tomorrow Leicester wins and goes top of the league for me, is not a problem at all. I just wanted to win my game, which is what we keep saying since the beginning of the season. We want to win the next match. I don't care about the table. I don't care about the opponents. I don't care about the competition. We want to win the next match. I want to go to, to every game with the players uh, believing and organized in a way where we think we can beat that uh, that opponent. We are a, we are a process. The te this team is a process in, in place. Uh, Good signs of evolution at every level. We are very happy with with that, of course. But uh, I don't care too much about uh, the table. It's just a good feeling to go to go home tonight and uh, until tomorrow we are top of the league. That's that's obviously a good feeling. Okay, Matt Law, I'm un unmuting you now. Hi, Jose. Hello. Um, in one year, you've gone from you've taken this team. And this this club from 14th to top of the league, has it gone better than even you could have expected at this stage? The the, the 14th last season is a fake 14th, is a temporary 14th. It happens in a in a crazy season where uh, they had so many problems, uh, everything was going wrong. The situation was not good, but come on, uh, the work they did before here, uh, the club, Mauricio, the players, the 14th was just a, a temporary situation. Uh, I'm happy with the evolution. Uh, I knew, I, I, I think I knew, or I thought I knew where I could improve the, uh, the team. We work hard. The players are very open to what we are, uh, to what we are doing, and I couldn't be pleased. But of course, this position is can be fake. Tomorrow it can be second. You lose two matches and you become mid-table. Incredible, incredible Premier League. Okay, Ali Gold, and then we'll finish with Joe Prince. Right, Ali. 
Uh, hi, Jazz. I just want to ask you quickly about Toby Alderweireld. Um, he looked like he knew straight away that he had a bit of a problem. Um, any idea how bad it is yet? It's bad. It's bad. It's a muscular uh, injury in the adapter. Dimension, of course, we don't know. We have to wait. But it's a difficult, a difficult injury for sure. In the Premier League, we have three centre-backs. Uh, in the Europa League, we don't have uh, Joe Rodden. We have only only two, but that's the way it is, and uh, there is nobody to blame. Um, he played in the national team matches that the team need to win to qualify for uh, for final four. Uh, with us, he's playing so well. We decided to play him and not to rest him. Of course, there is nobody to blame. It's just to recover as soon as possible. Okay, Joe Prince, right to finish. Hi, Jose. Um, you spoke about Harry Kane and how he epitomizes the fighting spirit of your team. Is he going to be the difference about your, whether your team does achieve something extraordinary this season, given not only his goals, but everything he's done out here on the pitch and everything he's doing this season? He's a fantastic player. Um, when the puzzle around him is perfect for him, he's a fantastic player. And maybe you will be responsible for you and fans and, and people that love football. Maybe you will change the way people look to a striker. Because the tendency is strikers, numbers, goals. How many goals did you score? Uh, you are as good as how many goals do you score? In fact, there is a goal boot for the player that scores more goals. Uh, maybe it changed the way people look to a striker. A striker can be the man of the match, and he was the man of the match. I don't know who was responsible to, to, to give him that award, but I praise the person that gave him that award because a striker can be the man of the match without scoring a goal. He is fantastic, and he, he, he represents very well the spirit of the team. And then you look to the other guys. Uh, Bergwin was until... He was dying, Sonny the same, then Lucas comes and does the same, and you go until the right back, and everybody has, in this moment, we have that that spirit. We are going to lose matches, we are going to draw matches, we are going to play bad. But if we manage this spirit to be the DNA of, uh, of the team, we are closer to do good things. Okay, guys, thank you very much.